Hello family, we bless the name of the Lord today. We give him glory for all he's done for us and all he's yet to do. Today I'm basing my prayer on the word that I shared on the 27th of May, which was that our haters cannot kill us. So Father, we want to thank you for who you are in our lives. We thank you that not only, O oh God, are you the maker of the heavens and the earth and everything that exists within it, but that, God, you are the great and mighty God, the only living God, the only sovereign God, the one who is God by himself because you were not formed by the wisdom or the decision of man. For there are those who bow down to gods that they fashioned with their own hands, fashioned out of your own creation. There are those of God who even consider animals and creatures of all kinds as their gods. But we thank you that God Almighty, you are God all by yourself. For when we came into existence, we acknowledged and came to know that you are God, our maker. We thank you, Father God Almighty, that our worship of you is not what makes you God. That it is even a privilege for us to even worship you. Because when we worship you, Lord, you draw us to yourself. Your spirit of God Almighty inhabits us, Lord. And so we thank you that, Father, today, as we have come before you, not only are you our God, but we thank you that you are the sovereign God. You are the only true and living God. You are the one of God Almighty, as someone says, even when you're silent, you're speaking. For in your silence, O God Almighty, your angels are working. In your silence, Father God, creation speaks of your power, of your splendor, of your authority, of your might. And we thank you that this is who we call you, God, who you are to us, our God. The one who upholds us with his righteous right hand. The one whose power is not derived from anything or anyone. Sometimes, Father God Almighty, even in our worship, we have limited you. We have attributed all sorts of things to you. And I think of how sometimes we think that our, our worship, our, the song we sing, is what makes you um, rise up to exhibit some power or whatever. But God Almighty, power is within you. Our worship just allows you to, to show up in our, in our space. And so today we thank you that we even have the privilege to worship you. Lord, I'm reminded of the song that says, there's no higher calling, no greater honor than to bow and kneel before your throne. So today we have come acknowledging you as our God, acknowledging you as our Father, that you are great God, that you would consider us your children. For your word says that even while we were yet sinners, Christ Jesus died for us. It is his death on the cross that has reconciled us to you, O God. It is his blood that he shed that gives us access to come before you 24-7, Lord God Almighty. I often think about how, Father God, people of influence, Father God, people of God Almighty of authority in our, in our nations, Father, even if sometimes um, people want an appointment, they would not even give them an appointment unless they come from certain circles or have certain associations, Lord. Even, Father God, sometimes in church, Lord, some church leaders cannot just be seen. Even if you were to say anything in this world, you will not be given an audience. But we thank you that you, great God, we can have an audience with you. There is nobody who is a gatekeeper saying we qualify or we do not qualify. For Lord, you have qualified us in Christ. So today, as we come before you, we say thank you, God, that Lord, we can call upon you. For you said we will call and you will answer. You will say, here I am, O God. So we thank you that Lord, as we're lifting up our prayer today. You've already answered us because even before we speak, you know what we're going to say. We want to thank you that because of that, Lord God, we can be assured that the word that you gave us, that our haters cannot kill us, Father God Almighty, will forever be true. And we stand upon your word and we enforce that word in our lives. For Father God, many of us have haters. Our haters may be physical beings, Lord. Our haters may be spirit beings that we cannot see with our eyes, but we thank you that you who says to us, O oh God, that you're a shield for us, O oh God, our glory and the lifter up of our heads. You know how our haters, even those, O oh God Almighty, that are wolves clothed in sheepskin, you know them. When they gather, O oh God, in the secret places, plotting evil against our lives, you know and you know all their plans, Father, today. 
we come before you and we pray in the name of Jesus that their past schemes against our lives will not prevail. Their present schemes that they are plotting, Father God, we disallow it in the name of Jesus. And anything that will scheme concerning our future, Father God, we do not permit it either. For we stand on the authority of your word in which you have said that whatever we permit here on earth will be permitted in heaven. What we do not permit here on earth will not be permitted in heaven. Therefore, God Almighty, on the basis of that word, I declare in the name of Jesus that let it be written in the record books of heaven that we do not permit our haters from prospering, O God, in their evil schemes against our lives. Let it be written in the record books of heaven that we rebuke every hater, every person, O God Almighty, that means evil and is plotting evil continually. Father God, whether they've done it once, O God, whether they are plotting to do it, Lord, we do not permit their evil works against our lives to prosper in the name of Jesus. We rebuke their evil schemes by the blood of Jesus. We erase, O God Almighty, any demonic and evil foundation that they may have established concerning our lives. Father God Almighty, sometimes our haters would use words. Father God Almighty, condemnation. Father God, every word of condemnation that they've spoken against our lives. Father, I erase every single one of them by the blood of Jesus. Words have spirit and words have life. Where the words of evil have given rise to the enemy, O oh God Almighty, to spirits and powers of darkness, to afflict our lives. Father God, today, as we erase those words, Father God Almighty, we therefore declare that no power of darkness... No enemy, no spirit of darkness will be able to run with the herald of those words of condemnation that they have spoken against our lives. Father God, we therefore declare that God Almighty, we're set free, O God, by the blood of Jesus from every word of condemnation that has held us bound, that has held us captive, that keeps us, O God, from moving forward, that keeps us, O God Almighty, from being surrounded with your favor, that keeps us, O God Almighty, from seeing the fullness, O God, of your blessing in our lives. Father God, your word says that there's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Therefore, we declare in the name of Jesus that even in our future, concerning our own lives, the lives of our spouses, our parents, our siblings, Father God Almighty, our children, our loved ones, Father, we pray that God, if anybody stands anywhere, whether in our face or God or in the secret place, Father, or somewhere else, to slander us, to speak evil, that, oh God Almighty, will give rise to the enemy to even afflict us. Father God, while they are speaking, that your blood will continually be erasing and, and destroying the evil effects of their pronouncements in Jesus' name. In fact, I am praying that when they gather, O God Almighty, to speak evil of us, Father, instead of evil proceeding out of their mouth, they will bless us, O God, in the name of Jesus, for you will put in their mouth blessing that they will not be able to curse us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we therefore thank you that Lord God, because you gave us that word, it goes to re st it stands to reason that there are those of God who do not even rejoice that we're alive. There are those of God who are seeking after our lives. But your word says, O God, that them that seek after our, our flesh shall eat their own flesh and be drunk on their own blood as with wine. And I pray that you will watch over your word to perform it, Lord, so that God Almighty, the very plots that they set for us, they will fall into the very snare that they themselves have set, Lord. For you said, O God Almighty, that we will not fall prey to the foulest snare where we have fallen prey to the snares of any kind that is meant to take our lives father god i declare in the name of jesus that we have escaped like a bird in the name of jesus snatch us out of their evil snares in the name of jesus so that god we will live and not die to declare your praises. We will live and not die to fulfill divine purpose and assignment. We will live and not die, O oh God Almighty, to render to you the true sacrifices of praise and thanksgiving that, O oh God, is due your most holy name. We will live and not die, O oh God Almighty, but with long life will you satisfy us and you will cause us to see, O oh God Almighty, your salvation. And we will live to see our children's children because, O oh God Almighty, you have promised and you will never fail and you have told us in your word that with long life will you satisfy us so we thank you that god almighty that will be our testimony all our days that those who plot those who scheme against us they will not prosper they will not prosper lord god almighty and definitely they will not prosper father god even if they plot death against our lives for you have said in your word that no weapon of the enemy fashioned against us shall prosper we thank you in jesus name we're going to go over our memory verse for today, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15. 
See to it that no one falls short of God's grace, that no root of resentment springs up and causes trouble, and by it many be defiled. We thank you, Lord. The Lord bless you, family. Enjoy the day. Keep praying through these messages that God gave to us and even what I've prayed today. If there's specific things that you want to lift up before God, I would encourage you to do so because God is on our side and he wants us to be victorious in all of our ways. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.